just came in my mind that there is one more setup that we need to do before implementing the draw string, and it is this. Um, as you know, we are using raycasts. However, if we do not hit anything with our raycasts, um, this thing will fail. So um, if we make it really, really long, then you know, it will not be an issue. But just to be safe, let's just add um, that thing too. So if our hit is successful, then we are launching it to the um, hit location. But otherwise, we need to um, spawn it just again on the same place. And now we are going to get at that impulse to towards not um, not the spot that um, we collide with on the raycast because there is no such place. We will do it on wherever that raycast just goes to. So basically, um, over here, since hit result will be null, we need to change this, and we will change this to exactly this one. So um, camera location plus forward vector multiplied by 500. So basically, um, this is just sending it towards somewhere. Um, but still towards where we are looking at. So, okay, this is done too. Let's just go for uh, draw string. So we need one more function and it will again be new function. And I am gonna name it as draw string. Okay, okay. And for this, we need a variable to keep how much is um, the force that we apply. So it's going to be a float amount. It can also be integer. Let's just make it integer. Um, force on string. And on our constructor, we are going to set this to zero. And let's just make the function now. So void draw string. It takes nothing and um, a try character. Let's just not forget it. So this is going to turn um, a boolean on, which we did not create yet. Let's make it to bool drawing string and on the constructor this is going to be false so this one simply turns it on drawing string equals true let's just make another function now and this will handle this event and it doesn't need to be um, a new function. It will be internal. So void um, draw string handler. And this will be called on every tick that we have. And what it will do is it will just increase this force on string. Force on string plus equals, let's just make it one. I don't know um, how the numbers will work out for now. And let's just go for tick. Tick is over here. And we will just call it over here draw string handler 
All right. And now we just need to pass this value for some string on everywhere that we need to use it. So impulse was um, this, but now let's just make an approximation. I will do this one, this, and I will just add force on string over there. I will do the exact same over here too. Okay, and one more thing, we need to cap this value if force on string is smaller than, let's just cap it on 30 because this amount is exactly, um, 30 is exactly gives us the same results as we had before. And one last thing, when we are done with everything, we need to um, turn this drawing uh, force on string to zero. And also in the beginning of this, we need to turn um, drawing string to false again, or otherwise our force on string will just keep incrementing. So drawing string, Drawing string equals false again. I think everything is set now. Okay, this one has a problem. Draw string handler. This one is supposed to be called. Okay, I think everything is set now. Let's just pause and compile so I had a crash and um, I removed all the loggers and placed it on draw string handler and I forgot to place this statement over here if drawing string if we are drawing the string then this handler will do what it's doing so saving it compiling it again it should not take much, hopefully. And still, we need to do some other setup on um, the character blueprint itself. Okay, I thought it, it would just not be long, but it is. I'm gonna pause it now. Okay, to real long, let's just do the last setup that we need. Um, we are editing um, the pride character and over here when we press F we want to sh um, draw the string and um, when we release it we want to shoot okay had another crash awesome Pausing it and launching it again. <laughs> okay, um, I think it is related to Windows 10. So when I press F, I should see the value increasing. I cannot see it, but um, you you can see it, guys. Um, it is increasing. It just cannot print. When I press F and release it immediately, see, it just falls in front of me. When I hold it and release it afterwards, you can hear um, my keyboard. It just goes much faster. Yes, the numbers might just be tweaked. Um, this might just be an overkill, but um, yeah, it is good enough. I am about to conclude it. Finally, I would like to um, place another function over here, and it is for you guys to see if our aiming um, functionality is really working or not. Because um, I told you, no matter where we move the camera, it will just aim as good. But let's just see if it does. So I'm just going to make another void and 
gonna call it switch to archery mode. Think it like um, normally it is just roaming mode. When I switch to archery mode, the view changes. Basically, it nothing else. And we had an error, but probably a false one. Okay. So basically, what I'm going to do over here is um, get camera boom. It might just be uh, the fall of camera too, but I think it is boom. Uh, set relative location and I am going to pass it in a vector. A vector. Um, F vector. So I'm just going to give it some Z, um, Z dimension, but it just doesn't work. Um, zero, zero, three hundred. This one should work. And um, when we are constructing it, we are going to call it over here. Um, switch to archery mode. So on default, it will be in archery mode. I'm going to pause and compile again. So when I press play, it doesn't work. So that means it was not camera boom, it was the follow camera. Get follow camera. And I'm going to compile it again. And hope that it is quick. If not, I'm just going to pause it immediately. OK, pausing it. OK, um, I added 200 to the Y value as well, just to get that look that I mentioned, like our character's head on the bottom left corner. So I'm just going to shoot some random stuff over there. And as you see, it still goes to the middle, like um, wherever we are aiming at. And sometimes I manage to hit the character itself multiple times, but that's a bit like this, like this. Um, it is pro probably some of because of some of the tweaking, like the values where we are creating it. Because you know, when we go back, um, the since the camera cannot move towards um, the walls, it might just be causing the issue. However, we are still shooting things on a consistent uh, way. As you, as you can see, everything just works all right. So again, thank you for watching. I don't know what. Uh, is gonna be my next uh, coverage. I don't know what the topic will be, but still, um, I might just be making some animations for this character. So thank you for watching and see you on the next video.